The UAE has a new space law and on today's edition of Inside AB we're going to look at what that means for the country. I'm Jeremy Lawrence and I'm joined here in the studio by Shruti Nair. Shruti, welcome. You were talking to the officials uh, to do with the space law that was approved last week. Um, tell us the, 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 the nuts and bolts about what it is first. Right, so basically I was talking to uh, Sunil Thakur from the STA law firm and he is going to be one of the law firms that will be implementing the UAE space law once the regulations are out. So basically the new UAE space law is all about exploring, colonizing and commercializing the outer space. And it basically right now stands on five elements which includes registration, authorization, accidental investigations, auditing and human in space. So these are the five general topics that the whole law is going to cover. But in a broader picture, the UAE space law is going to be about peaceful use of outer space and that is going to benefit all member nations and all the people in general so that is like an idea for you about the UAE space law wow okay so it covers a lot of ground great so does the UAE space agency have a partnership with other international organizations well, yes, they do. They've actually partnered with a number of international organizations, including NASA, including uh, ISRO, which is the Indian Space Research Organization, JAXA from Japan, European Space Research Organization. So basically, through all of these partnerships, uh, UAE is going to benefit tremendously because the astronauts from the UAE are going to be sent to all of these nations for training. And we are also going to benefit infrastructure wise. Great. Does the 1967 uh, Outer Space Treaty, which was even before I was born, which is quite astonishing, uh, are we signed up to that and just say briefly what that is? Yes, we definitely are a member of the 1967 Outer Space Treaty and that is actually a picture from when it actually happened back in 1967. So uh, we've been a member of that for the last 18 years and basically there are a set of uh, principles and provisions that all the member nations need to follow. So it's, it's, it's a huge list, so I can just uh, read out a few for you, which includes the exploration and use of outer space shall be carried out for the benefit and in the interest of all of mankind. No weapons of mass destruction are per uh, permitted. State shall be liable for all damage caused by their space objects, etc. So it's basically just a set of rules that all the member nations use, uh, need to follow. And right now, at this juncture, it's going to be very important for the UAE because we are, have started doing a lot in the space sector. Wow, okay, so we're joining the big guns there. Is there much being done by schools and universities to promote space research as a subject? Because presumably we don't want to be importing technology. That's correct. So uh, I was speaking to Sunil Thakur, as I said earlier, and this is the information that he gave me that the uni a university in Sharjah is offering a master's degree in space research right now, and the course is being introduced now recently. And uh, there is another project that is basically a collaboration between a university in Abu Dhabi and the university in Sharjah, where they are going to be doing a number of projects that will help in space research. Mm. So it looks like a lot of schools and universities are coming into this because this is a sector with a lot of scope, both financially and otherwise. Right. Can we just finish by looking at the milestones that we've, uh, we've achieved uh, that, that so far in, in this journey? Sure. Uh, so we've come a long way just in the last year. We've just seen so many things happen. Last month, we saw the launch of Khalifa Sat, uh, which was developed by a group of Emirati engineers and then which was followed by this launch of MySat one again, which just happened recently this month. And then uh, we will also see the launch of Hope, which is a Mars probe. That's going to be the Arab world's first unmanned uh, Mars probe, which should happen by 2020 if everything works out properly. And of course, we have our own two Emirati astronauts uh, who will be receiving a lot of training from NASA and from other organizations. So it looks like the UAE space sector is going to go a long way and there's a lot of research and development being done in the sectors and a lot of investment is also being put into these sectors. We know that trillions are being invest invested uh, by the US and other countries including South Korea uh, but now the UAE has joined like you said has joined the big gun and uh, they are all full ready to invest in the space sector. Great. Okay. Well, Shruti Nair, thank you so much. You've been watching Inside AB. Please do let us know what you think about this whole area. It's a completely fascinating subject and the UAE clearly wants to play a part. Uh, what do you think about that? How can the UAE get more involved and develop this sector? Um, do let us know. Comment, subscribe and share as usual and we'll see you next time. Bye.